Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a horizontal video, just like the one you see here, and turn it into a YouTube short or a TikTok video. So, you know, switch it from horizontal to vertical so that it fits within the parameters given. I'm using iMovie on a MacBook Pro, just so you know. Uh, the first step is, of course, importing the original video into iMovie. So you have to create a new project and stuff and then import it here. And what happens is it drags it down here. And what I'm going to do is for this video, I stood in separate spots on the screen so that I could show you how to cut it based on uh, like if you have an existing video, then you're trying to turn into a YouTube short you can do this with. So you'll see here I'm on the right side of the screen here. Then I move over to the middle and then move over to the left side and then I go back. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scroll through and I'm going to go to where I first move. So you'll see here, I do a couple tricks and then I go over. So as soon as I start moving, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that down here on the clip. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to split clip. And what that's going to do is it's just going to create two separate things down here. You'll see the that they're separate. Uh, and after that, I'm going to scroll through to find where I go to the next stop. So you'll see here, I start to move there. So we'll go down and we'll click on the clip and we'll right click again and go to split clip. And we'll do that once more after I move from the left side towards the middle again. So there we go. And the reason for this is so that you can actually break it up and make sure it fits properly. So we'll go back to this particular thing. And this is where the whole thing actually comes into play. Like you might have played around with this and tried to figure it out yourself. It took me a while to do uh, using the crop. You know that you can make it smaller, but the problem is it's still uh, like it doesn't fit properly. And when you export it, it doesn't work out. So what you're going to do first is I'm going to highlight all of the clips and I'm going to go to the box thing up here, the cropping section, and I'm going to turn it to the side. Uh, it doesn't really matter which direction you choose to go with. I, I like to put it to the right. It's easier for me to see visually for whatever reason. Um, and at this point, you'll see if I go to the first clip, I'm not inside the screen, right? So what we'll do is we'll click on the clip, go up here to the cropping thing again, and instead of having it say fit, we'll go to crop to fill. And what we'll do is we'll drag it down so that the person or whatever you're filming is in the center of the screen. And after that, you can click out of it. You can click just down here and you'll see that it's, it's turned sideways. Don't worry about that yet. Uh, but you'll see that I'm in the clip the whole time. Same thing with the sep second portion. We'll select it, go up here to the cropping, go to crop to fill and we'll make sure we're put in the middle and what you can do like i'm not doing a super detailed job here you'll see i'm still moving in this particular spot so you can of course like shrink it so it stays in the same thing if it's a continuous thing you'll just need to clip it more uh, so i could do like a split clip here and then adjust the center to that but i'm not going to do that because this is a short example and the next time we'll go to the third clip here do the same exact thing. You select the click clip that you want to edit, go up to the cropping tool, crop to fill, and put the subject in the center of the screen, and then click back down here. I'm going to get rid of this section down here because it's just, you know, filler. We'll just hit delete on the keyboard. And what we'll do here, we can go through and make sure I'm in the middle the whole time. Oh, there was a spot there, so we'll we'll drag that out and get rid of it so it's just me in the middle each time. We'll go to the top right here and we'll go to export file and I'm going to name it juggling one sideways fix for YT shorts. You can name it whatever and you can export it, you know, whatever it is that your, your highest quality is possible for me. It's only 1080 for this particular thing. I'm going to click on next. It'll save it to my desktop. And then it'll take a second. You'll see the top right thing here. There's a little spin wheel, so that'll go through. And you can cl click the thumbs thumbs up if this is helping you. That helps with the algorithm. Uh, and then you'll see here I have the movie showing up here. Juggling. This is a problem, right? It's sideways. Not to be worried. It's a very simple fix. You can go to edit, and you can click on rotate left or rotate right based on which way you saved it. And then all you have to do is actually save the QuickTime player file. You go to file and you can export as 
and we'll go to 1080p and then we'll say juggling yt right angle and we'll save it and it'll go through it'll export the process and it'll upload another video so you'll see here this went directly to my desktop so if i close this uh, we can delete it or cancel it and what will happen is I can click this and you'll see that it's the right side up and then you can export this particular clip to uh, YouTube for a YouTube short so you can send this to your phone if you want to upload it that way and if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below give it a thumbs up as I said if it was helpful I hope this does helps and I'll see you in the next video